what's up lovely people welcome back to my channel so based on the title you know what i'm going to prepare so without further delay let's just get straight to this recipe so the first thing is to make the crust now to make this you will need some unbleached all-purpose flour ice cold water vegan butter turmeric powder anato powder salt and brown sugar After you have added all the dry ingredients, you want to give this a light stir so everything is evenly distributed. And then after that, you're going to add your vegan butter. You can also choose vegetable shortening as well. Make sure to add a generous amount of the butter because this will make your crust nice and flaky. So after that, you want to combine the butter into the flour until you get to like a breadcrumbs like consistency. So this is the consistency you want to achieve and what you want to do next is to gradually add some ice cold water to this and gently knead until you form like a semi soft dough. You don't want the dough to be too sticky or too hard. So after kneading the dough, you want to cover it with some stirin wrap and then place it in the refrigerator. So I ended up not making the patty the same day I made the dough, so this is the next day. So this is the next step to the dough in order to achieve those different layers and flakiness that patty comes with. So what I'm going to do is to cut this in half and then work on one half first. So watch carefully. So at this point you're gonna add some more butter and as I mentioned before this is the next step to the dough in order for you to achieve those different layers and flakiness. So after you have rolled and fold your dough again, you want to then place this back in the refrigerator. Now in that meantime, I'm going to move on to the filling for the patty. Now to make the patty filling, I'm going to make a green seasoning first. So right here, I have all the ingredients to make this green seasoning. Now the full list and measurements will be in the description. So make sure you check that out. So cut these up a little bit smaller and then add them to your food processor and process until smooth. There shouldn't be any chunks of vegetables, okay? If you don't have a food processor, you can always use your blender. So 
so use only the thyme leaves not the stems okay so you want to pick apart the leaves from the stem and then add them to your food processor also i did not use that entire scotch bonnet pepper i only cut a small piece without the seeds so add about a teaspoon of oil and this is just to help to bring all the vegetables together as they blend to create a smooth consistency So after you're done, you should get a consistency like this, nice and smooth, no chunks of vegetables, okay? So you kind of want to set this to the side and then I'm going to move on to the next step. For the filling, I'm going to use soya chunks or veggie chunks. So I'm basically soaking them into some warm water for a few minutes and then I'm going to drain that liquid and then add the veggie chunks to the food processor and process until smooth. Normally I would buy the veggie mince and use as is but I haven't seen it in a while so this is the whole purpose of me mincing the chunks because you don't want big chunks in your patty, okay? So now it's time to cook up and season this filling. So go ahead and add some oil to your pot along with some other green seasonings and you want to allow this to saute for about a minute or two. So right here I'm adding some seasonal purple seasoning and then you want to stir this up nicely and then after that you're going to add the veggie mints. So to give the veggie mince some more color, you want to add your brown in and then stir this properly. So everything is coated evenly. Now after that, I'm going to add a ketchup mixture and that is just water, ketchup and a little bit of agave nectar just to balance out the tartness of the ketchup, okay? So after you have added the ketchup mixture, you want to further season this to your desired taste. So right here, I'm adding some vegetable bouillon. You can choose any all-purpose seasoning of choice that you're comfortable using already, okay? When you bite into your patty, you want it to be juicy. So make sure you add enough of that ketchup mixture.
After you have seasoned this to your desired liking, you want to cover this and allow it to simmer down on low heat for 10 minutes. Now in that meantime, I'm going to start rolling out the dough to form the patties. So to form the patties, you can do one of two things. You can use a round container and then cut around that to get a more evenly shaped dough. Or you can simply use that same pizza cutter to cut like rectangular shapes. So after you have cut out that round shape, you kind of want to roll it out somewhere just to get a bigger surface area and then begin to place your filling. So after that, you want to use a fork to get those patty edges going. And then what I'm going to do next is to brush the top with some melted vegan butter and then use that same fork to pierce three holes in the top. And that's just to allow the air to circulate when baking so the crust can be cooked properly. So this is the other half of the dough and as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to just roll this out and then cut into rectangular shapes to form the patties. Now these don't have to be perfect, okay? So these are ready for the oven. I made a total of eight patties. I placed two on a separate baking pan. Now you wanna bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. These are looking lovely already and they're not baked yet. Twenty five minutes later, the patties are all baked, and these turned out amazing. Like these were so delicious and flavorful, crispy on the outside and nice and juicy on the inside. And as you can tell, I was able to achieve that flaky crust after many trial and error. This recipe is the one. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for some more authentic plant-based recipes. Bless up.